All right, welcome everyone to the game. Uh, all teams are here. We're just about to start. We're just waiting for a couple of players to join us and we'll be good to go. Looks like we have a stable connection. We have our, uh, lots of audience today. And for those of you guys uh, watching us online, I uh, just would like to remind you that uh, we would like everybody on the stream to respect the audience, respect the viewers and mind the language. Um, you'll, I will, we'll have to, to suspend you or ban you from, the, from, from attending the live stream if you don't conform, so please mind the language, all right? All right, guys, so we got, before we start, <clears throat> just gonna give you a quick preview of what is happening inside the game now. Uh, we have two teams today. We have the American International School of Abu Dhabi on the blue side, and we have the Victoria International School of Charger on the red side. This is going to be a quarterfinal game of the Esport International Esport League. Uh, these teams haven't played before, and I'm curious to know um, what they have to say about the game. So we are going to join the Victoria International School uh, of Sharjah first um, to, you know, to ask them questions and see uh, how prepared are they for the game. So we're going to join them really quickly for a couple of questions. Um, and hopefully they will have something good to say. Uh, hi, Hillary, can you hear me? Yes. Hey, uh, so you guys are on air now, so I'm just popping in to ask you guys a couple of questions before the game starts, uh, before you guys facing off against the American International School of Charger. Um, so I just have a couple of questions, really, about what was your training routine before the game today, how did you guys? How much time did you guys spend, maybe strategizing or training? And what did it look like? Abdul, do you want to answer that question? Yeah, sure. I don't mind. Um, well, we spent most of the time trying to actually get the game to work, but once we did, um, most of our time was spent trying to uh, set up teams uh, and um, strategizing and finding ways to get around the map. Um, we found we tried to look for good positions to attack from and defend from. We assigned each other uh, specific roles to play within the team, and uh, we kept practicing over uh, over and over again. And we tried different uh, we tried different uh, roles and practice routines, and we just chose whatever best was was for us. And uh, yeah, that was basically us for the entire. All right. Well, uh, very excited to see a strategy and how it plays out against the American International School of Abu Dhabi, who I'm pretty sure spent uh, also some time uh, training and preparing. All right, guys. Uh, well, good luck for the match today. And I'll be joining you guys again after the game to see whether or not your strategy works out. Good luck. What team do I join? Red. Right. Yeah, I'm in. I'm in. All right, so that was the couple of words from International School of um, uh, Victoria International School of Sharjah. We're now gonna join the uh, their opponents, the American International School of Abu Dhabi. Just in a second, um, joining their call. Both teams are on their respective uh, communication platforms uh, to make sure that the teams can talk, they can communicate. And now we're joining the American International School of um, Abu Dhabi. So, guys, again, if you are the f if you're watching this stream for the first time, this is a semi so so this is a quarterfinals uh, of the tournament, uh, and here we are at the here we are uh, joining the call of the American International School of Abu Dhabi. Uh, hey, guys, how are you today? Hello. Hello. Good. <laughs> Good. Hi everyone. Hi Elliot. Elliot is the um, well captain, general manager of their team. Guys, I just have one question for you guys, and just for the record, you guys on air, whatever you say is uh, is stream. So please be mindful of the language. So just a quick question, guys. What was your training routine preparing for this match? How much maybe? Um, how much time did you spend? And what was the strategies or training routine that you guys had before this match? We spent like eleven classes. Yeah, and we spent like about that time, and it was every Monday and Wednesday, so yeah. Yeah, usually yeah. my friends and I, we went to the world itself and we looked at the strategies, what we could do, some bed defense ideas, and that was pretty, that was pretty. 
All right. Well, very exci yeah, very excited to see how your strategy plays out against the Victoria International School of Sharjah. I just had a, qu a quick chat with them. They seem to have some strategy as well. So it will be wonderful to see how your strategies collide and who will come as a winner. I'll be joining you guys after the game to see how the strategy played out. Just want to say good luck and all the best. Fair play and talk to you guys later. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Well, it looks like teams are ready. Everybody is ready. So we are in the game uh, with both teams. Again, we have, we have Victoria International School on the red side and we have the American International School of Abu Dhabi on the blue side. I just want to check with the general managers that we are good to start and we will delve into the game. So for those of you guys who are viewing us, let us know where are you viewing us from and who are you cheering for while I'm waiting for the go ahead from the general managers to make sure that all students are ready. And it looks like we're all good to go and let's get started. So I'm setting the timer for 20 minutes. The game will be 20 minutes. I have my timer here to make sure that the game is timed and let's see how the game evolves all right so um for those of you guys who are watching us the first time we have two bases we have the blue base this is going to be the base for the um international school american international school of abu dhabi and we have the red base for the uh, Victoria International School of Sharjah. Both teams will have to do two things. They will need to defend their base first, but they will also need to find a way to capture the flag of the opposing team. There are also some neutral objectives, like for example, um, pillagers outpost uh, that can be captured by both teams. And we can notice that students are experiencing hunger level and, well, Probably some of the students didn't spend enough time practicing because the both bases have the um, storage of food in the basement. Some of these, some of the teams in the past had a strategy of stealing the food of the opposing team and um, use it as a strategy. So we see that the blue team captures a flag already. I'm not sure how that happened. How the the Asia, the American School of Abu Dhabi, how the player was managed to get past the defense of the. Um, Victoria National School so quickly but apparently this student right here student 12 is is carrying the flag uh, to their base and he or she is going to score the point unless a student from the Victoria International School stops him or her so we see that this student is, is he, he or she has got a really good movement but then he just fell down he was uh, apparently on low health and the fall actually <laughs> actually destroy this character and the flag was returned well that could have been the first point for the Victoria International School but how well that was a really really uh, bad mistake by the player but he or she did manage but this player managed to get past the defense and grab the flag but well things happened so this player took the fall and for those of you guys who, if you are the player and you're watching the stream, guys, there's a storage of food in the basement of your base. If you are, I know, if you are, if you are, if you are starving, you won't be able to run. But there is um, a storage of food. So let's take some time to look at the defense of both of both teams. So it looks like the American International School of Abu Dhabi set up a defense in such a way that it's really hard to get to the flag. They have the spider web allocated at the bottom they, they block the enter entrance here and it's really I'm not really sure how you get past this defense so let's quickly zoom uh, in to the Victoria International School and see well I don't know what happened here but it looks like the defense structure is actually missing there's no there's not a lot of defense on the Victoria International School of Charger uh, so the flag is really easily capturable and that's probably why that's probably why explains why <clears throat> players from the uh, from the American International School of Abu Dhabi was were managed to capture the flag so quickly so it looks like some some scrimmages are happening in between the players and we see two players from the <clears throat> uh, Victoria School uh, trying to penetrate the base of the American International School we see one player 
going past, but then how do you get across? So it looks like student, student one wasn't really ready to see this kind of defense, but it looks like there's another player, so hopefully some communication took place. We see a student is going from the top, we see the window is not blocked, which gives the students access to the flag. So he jumps in, he captures the flag, but then how do you... But then he got entangled in the web, the, the, the fighting is happening, the flag is returned, but that was a really good move from the student from the American International School of Abu Dhabi. The student came through the top floor into the... Um, into the... Um, uh, window and then into the flag. Well, good play, but then you've got to somehow get out of the uh, flag area and the, 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 the passage is blocked by the spider web. Good play though, good play. Um, so we see players in the middle of the map. We see some exchanges here uh, from archers as well as some sword play. Uh, but nothing much is happening really from either side. Um, Victoria International School still hasn't uh, set up any defense on their end. The flag is still wide open uh, to be captured by a player, so the opposing team. Yet we see another two players, um, student one and student six, who are making another advance to the base. So probably this time they're going to be a little bit more cautious and a little bit more mindful as to how to get in, how to get past the defense and how to get out. So we see student six trying to get to the base through the middle, but then he got spotted by student 15, a sword play is happening, and the student 15 is victorious in this little exchange. There's another, uh, there was another player here, uh, right there, there's a, oh, I see one student from the, um, from the red team is trying to capture the pillagers outpost um, objective. And for those of you guys who are not familiar, well, the blue team captured the flag while we are, um, I'm talking about the Pillager's Outpost, apparently student 12 is carrying the flag and let's see whether he or she will be able to get to the base. Um, so he's going past the main entrance and uh, well you've got to get to the base first before you can score the point. And um, hmm. so he or she is going from the back, again going around, it's really risky to be walking around with your flag, but he or she is going to, the, the student 12 is going to use this passage here, and then meanwhile, the uh, student one um, is trying to destroy the, 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 the bedrock, which you can't really do, and here we go, the flag is going to be captured by student one, the flag is actually right there, the flag is returned by student 15, um, I don't know why student one was on such a low health, and this is the first point for American International School of Abu Dhabi. Well, well done, guys. Uh, you've just scored one point, and as you can see on the scoreboard on the right, you can see that uh, the score is now one to two for American International School of Abu Dhabi. This is AISA. Um, so, well, finally, Victoria International School has been able to catch up and... Um, put up some very strong defense around their base. Not really sure how to get in. It looks like they only left one, one pillar here. Um, and well, it's, it's gonna be interesting to see how um, blue team is going to try and capture the reds team flag. Meanwhile, we have two players from the American International School of Abu Dhabi trying to penetrate the base. We have the, what looks like, a, what looks like an iron axe uh, from student 20, uh, an item that initially neither of the teams have, so apparently um, American International School of Abu Dhabi did some f mining or something, something, somehow they were able to mine some resources, find the iron, and um, so the red team has captured the flag, somehow I missed that, um, so student two, must be carrying the flag, but there has to be a way for this player to get around. So I wonder where the flag is. I wonder if student two is carrying the flag or not. Just quickly checking whether... Um. 
Now, blue team captures the flag. So I think, I think student 20 does have a flag in their inventory. And now they're trying to, to get out. So let's see if they're, if they're able to... Wow, it looks like, it looks like there's a bridge here for the blue team. So both flags are missing and now student 12 is carrying the red team flag but he is hard pushed hard place to exit the area now he or she destroyed the web and it looks like they're trying to the red the the red team rescues its flag now the blue team captures the flag one more time and the student 12 is now carrying the flag back to their base. So an archer play is happening in the middle of the map. Uh, we have one player who's carrying red team flag. I wonder where who is carrying the blue team's flag because the blue flag is missing. So someone from the red team is having the flag but for some reason they don't want to return this flag back to their base so i'm not sure what the red team strategy is the blue team scores another point um so i'm not really sure what the strategy of the victoria international school of charger because the, they have the flag, but for some reason they, they don't want to, to score the point. They need to bring the flag back to their base uh, to score the point. However, we did have, um, well, I would say a similar glitch uh, before where we have flag disappeared. So just to be fair to the red team, I'm going to place the blue team's flag um, in the middle uh, to, to its original place right here just to make sure that um both teams have their flags in place so it's two to zero uh for the american international school uh, of abu dhabi um not really sure what the reds team strategy is there they've been in their base for a lot for many times and now the flag is going to be captured one more time the blue team And the blue team captures the flag one more time. So I wonder who captured who captured the red team flag. Um, no players are visible, so I'm not really sure who's carrying the flag. But players, there's a, there there are some skirmishes happening at the blue team's base. Um, the blue flag, not really sure what's happening with the blue flag whether or not some of the players on the red team are, have the flag and the blue team scores another point. So it looks like, well, I think, I think the Sharjah International School, Victoria, Victoria International School of Sharjah needs to be aware of the fact that they need to return the flag back to their base, otherwise they won't be able to score the point. So I'm just keep returning the flag because the someone from their team is carrying the flag but then for some reason they cannot score the point the victoria international school flag is missing we have one player who is currently probably re regenerating health uh whether or not he's spotted i'm not really sure but it looks like he or she might be carrying the flag but none of the team members uh, we actually have two players from the uh, american international school of Abu Dhabi just camping the flag area and they got spotted we have two versus one I think student six is on low health and blue team scores another point and and they capture the flag one more time so it's just it's really I'm not sh really sure where the red team players are they're doing something but it looks like the communication is a little bit missing we have some of the players outside the outside the um, areas or perimeters of the map um, they are mining rocks but the objective of the game is to 
capture the flag and defend your own flag, which is not happening on the Victoria International School of Charger. The base is wide open. We do have student six roaming around the base. Uh, I think there, there's, there's, there's constantly someone from the blue team hiding around the, the red team flag. They're crouching so they'll not be visible. And once the flag is captured, they have a player who will recapture the flag immediately. That's why they've been able to bring the score to four so quickly. So it's it's five to zero now. And I don't see the I don't see how the Victoria International School of Charge will be able to score five points in less than six minutes. It's actually time to uh, it's five minutes remaining uh, right here that I have my clock here. So I just want to make sure make everybody is aware of the fact that we only have five players remaining. So again, the the blue teams, the, the blue team, the Victoria International School of Charger, they did have a strategy. I did talk to them before the game, and it looked like they have a solid strategy. But then, for some reason, it just fell through. So it will be wonderful or interesting to see what actually happened during this game because they clearly lack of communication or support uh, from their from their end. So. We have we have two on one situation here. The red team prevails. The blue team scores a point. And let me guess. Let's see if there's a player from the blue team capturing the flag immediately. There's a passage here through the spider web. The student 12. They have a, actually the passage right here, right behind the flag, uh, to to make an easy escape from the area once the flag is captured. Um, well, what should I say? I think the Uh, and guys, those of you guys who are commenting, those of you who guys are commenting um, um, on the live stream, make sure that your comments are friendly, they're appropriate, they're respectful to other players because we don't want anybody to leave this live stream feeling um, sad or feeling abused. So please make sure that you are a respectable digital citizenship. Uh, any comments that do not... Um, look like friendly or well intended will be deleted and you might be suspended or muted for some time so let's let's um let's make sure that we um demonstrate good digital citizenship and good manners all right okay guys we just have three minutes back to the game we just have three minutes and the american international school of abu dhabi was continuously attacking the opposing team and I'm not really sure what is happening, why the Victoria International School has had such um, weak defense. Why did they allow the blue team to continuously sit around the flag and capture? We see a couple of actually ways dug here. There's one way here. There's one way right there. Um, So I'm just checking the checking. Oh, the red team scores the first point. Well, well done for the uh, Victoria International School of Charger. Uh, they scored their first point. Well done for you guys. Um, however, we only have two minutes left in the game. So hopefully this will be a learning experience for you guys how to um, how to maybe strategize better. You did manage to score the point. I wonder what this structure is here. It looks like um, an escape, <clears throat> an escape route for the red team. And yet again, we see that the the blue team is continuously invading the red's team. The red's team base. There's a skirmish is happening here. The red team is victorious here. Student one defeated uh, student seventeen. Um, but like this continuous push, but by, by American International School of Abu Dhabi, 
is tremendous. They always have they always have a couple of players either behind or in the base. And I see some students um, in the chat um, praising or cheering for their team. They're saying, go uh, American International School of Abu Dhabi. You guys are amazing. And this kind of, of comments we are looking for uh, in, the, in the chat. We're looking for this encouragement. We're looking for this really friendly communication between you guys and the opposing team, even though we are on the opposing ends it's just a game and at the end uh, yes there is a winner but at the end it's just a game uh, to have fun for you guys to spectate now we just have 30 seconds left in the game and i think it's not a foregone conclusion to announce the american international school of abu dhabi a winner in this round but i would like to remind you that this is a best of three uh, match in other words a team needs to win at two games to win this match. The round two is definitely won by the um, blue team, American International School of Abu Dhabi. Will Victoria International School of Sharjah be able to regroup, strategize, and somehow bring home victory in the second round to bring this into the third game? And now, guys, the time is up, so let me just announce that the... The game, is the game is up, and the Asia is victorious in this, in this uh, round. <laughs> yep, that's 7-1 to Asia. Good job, guys. Good job. Guys, uh, what a game. Uh, we started off really slowly, but then Asia just just skyrocketed in their strategy, in their uh, offensive play. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to take a five-minute break to let students and their mm, teammates to re-strategize, to regroup, and we'll um, see everybody in the second game. Um, see everyone in the second game, and hopefully, well, I hope, the uh, Victoria International School of Sharjah will be able to you, well, reflect on their mistakes and, um, yeah, and show better play in the second game of this evening. Well, stay back. Uh, we'll be back in about five minutes. Until then.
All right, guys, we are back. We're back in the second game. Now I'm just starting the uh, server. Just give me a couple of seconds and we will be back. So meanwhile, let me know in the chat. Um, I'm, I'm keeping an eye on the chat. Uh, which team are you rooting for? Uh, have you ever played competitive Minecraft before or not? Let me know in the chat, okay? And if you've played competitive Minecraft, what's your favorite um, map, I would say? Uh, Bad Wars, Capture the Flag. We play Capture the Flag. We might play Capture the uh, Bad Wars, but it's really hard to... It's really hard to have four teams for the Bad Wars. Alright, just setting up the server for the second game. And now we're back into the game, um, waiting for teams to join us. Um, yeah, Bad Wars, I can see guys, some of you answering that Hypixel Bad Wars. We did play Bad Wars uh, as part of our eSports club, but it's really hard to find... Well, as far as I know, Bad Wars is played with four teams, whereas this game is played with only two, and it's really hard to find four schools that will be on the same, well, necessarily on, time, on the same time zone, but it's really hard to find four schools that will be uh, available at the same time. So that's why we're playing Capture the Flag. Yeah, Sky Wars, that's right. I forgot about the Sky Wars. Yeah, there's a Sky Wars as well. Uh, we're playing this map. It's a custom-made map that we've uh, built specifically um, for these purposes. Uh, just checking in that all right so we have students started joining and let me actually show you what the process looks like all right so as you can see this is the what is called the lobby area once student Uh, once students join the world, uh, they talk to the team managers right here, and then they have two areas. This is the area for the main team where they have the uh, refillable chests with uh, some basic tools like swords and um, armor, and they have we have the substitute bench here. So only five players can be um, in the field at one time. That's why we have a substitute area here for the red team, and we have the substitute area here for the blue team. Um, so it looks, uh, and actually we switch teams now. So we have the American International School of Abu Dhabi on the red side now, and we will have the um, Victoria International School on the blue side. All right, so we have, it looks like we have the American International School of Abu Dhabi all, all set to go. We have five field players and we have one player in the substitute. So let me just check with the Charger Victoria School whether or not they're ready. Uh, Sticker, what did you answer? Have you ever played Candy's game mode? What is this game mode? I'm not really sure what you're talking about. Uh, 
No, I haven't played the, well, I haven't played this game out yet. Yeah, we're just waiting for the opponent team. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what's happening. Uh, we don't have the uh, Victoria International School joining us. <laughs> yeah, guys, probably I'm the one who will fall for your jokes. <laughs> I may be too old to know these jokes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm ready, dude. All right, it looks like we are good to start. We have we have eight players uh, on the Asia side, American International School of Abu Dhabi, and we have five players, actually six players, on the Victoria International School of Sharjah side. I'm just checking with... Let's see if we're ready to start. Just checking in final check uh, that all teams are ready before we jump into the game. Wow, we have so many players from the American International School of Abu Dhabi that looks like they have nine players, almost two squads against <laughs> against only five players uh, from the uh, Victoria International School of Sharjah side. I think we are good to start. I don't hear anything back from the uh, captains of the teams, but it looks like we have five players on one side and five on the other. Let's get started. All right, well, welcome to the second game of this evening. We're about to start, actually, we've just started. We have, this round, we have American International School uh, of, of Abu Dhabi on the red side, <clears throat> and we have the Victoria International School of Sharjah on the blue side. Now, the blue team will have to pull out all the stops to bring home victory here because if they lose this is going to be their second loss and the red team will be victorious in the entire game and right off the top we see a player 20 and uh, the wow well, that was good defense the blue team score rescues its flag I'm not really sure why the flag doesn't appear that was probably 
it's probably a glitch which needs to be corrected after the game so I need to keep an eye and make sure that I do return the flag because this is a, a serious uh, this is a serious glitch let me just quickly change that so I will need to change that um, after the game but for some reason the blue flag does does not respawn and I'll take care of that I'll take care of that um, manually but the, it, it does happen from time to time because we've we've created this game from from scratch and sometimes glitches do happen um, yeah student 3 joined the wrong team so I'll quickly move them here All right, so what is happening so far? Uh, nothing much. Both teams are setting up the defense around their flags. Uh, both teams are setting up the defense around their flags. The Victoria International School of Sharjah still did not learn the lesson from the first game. Their flag is wide open. Apologies, this is now the American International School of Abu Dhabi side. <clears throat> I'm still thinking in terms of the first game. This is the uh, American International School of Abu Dhabi. Uh, they set up the defense slightly, different, slightly differently uh, this time. They have sort of like a wall blocking the passage all the way from the front. So the only way you can get to the... Join, uh, so the only way you can get in is through those two doors or th from behind and we can see that the team is trying to mine the resources here uh, this is one of the strategies that sometimes teams used to craft some resources that are not readily available at the lobby we see a little fight happening here but the the red team doesn't stand a chance versus what looks like three players uh, wow look at this now that looks more solid now than before <clears throat> uh, really tall wall and this is now a combination of bedrock and wood. And I have never seen this before. Never have I seen a combination of bedrock and wood before. What normally teams do, they only use bedrock and spiderweb, those two resources that are available to them. But I've never seen this happen before. A combination of both materials. Let's see how this will play out and whether or not um, the Victoria International School of Sharjah will be able to penetrate the base. So it looks like right now all everything the teams are doing is just building up the defense because uh, yes um, so you join the red team. I see your comment in the chat real cool gamer boy you joined the red team by mistake oh yeah I can see you student six Our students he just left. Come back in the game. Come back into the game. I'll I'll put you. I'll put you. Uh, on your right team, student six. Right. So red team rescues its flag. So let's see what is up there. It looks like the blue team has attempted to capture the flag, but then the red team has managed to put it back. So let's see if student six is back into the game so I can put them on the right team. Yeah, student six is here. And here we go. Yeah, sometimes students do join other games. <laughs> Sorry, other games, other teams, but that's okay. That sometimes happens. So guys, what's gonna happen? <laughs> So what's going to happen? Both teams have built defense. And we can see the red team is now trying to mine 
cobblestone for some reason. So let's see what's going to happen, what the red team is going to do with the cobblestone. Their defense is already looking really, really good. They're just sitting there. Uh, and to be honest with you, the blue team needs to be more aggressive in this game. This is Victoria International School. Because they've lost the first game. So they've got to be a little bit more active to secure this um, safety net to get enough points to bring this into the third game. Because if, and only if, the American International School of Abu Dhabi captures one flag and then just sit back and defend, they won the game. Because the only condition by which the... The only condition by which the team wins is if they have... If they have more points than the other team so if the only if only if only if they have one point they win and we can see the red player well it looks like there's a there's a coordinator attack from the blue team we have but oh, where's the flag did someone did someone capture the, f the red flag yet I'm not really sure So let me put the red flag back. It looks like we have a glitch. So I'm, I'm just making, I'll just make sure that the... <laughs> Aiden, thank you for your comment. <laughs> I will delete it because, uh, and hide you from this channel. Uh, like I said before, guys, uh, we try to be polite and we try to be respectful to the viewers and to the audience, to the players. So please mind the language, okay? Uh, otherwise, we will have to ban and remove you from the stream because we do have lots of uh, students uh, join, watching us. We do have some educators watching us as well. So make sure that you mind your tone. Well, the blue team scores the point, and this is the first point for the Victoria International School of Sharjah. This is their first point in this game. Oh, the red team captures another flag so let's see where who captured the flag a student five is carrying the flag whether or not oh, i actually have two players now student 12 and then the blue team rescues the flag the flag is a response so hopefully uh, the glitch only happens when a student pick up the flag and look at that that looks like a, a, a moat <laughs> near the blue team's flag we have a blue team capturing the flag um, student four is carrying the red flag. You can see the red particles. Whether or not he will be stopped. So we can see student 15 is trying to bow down student four. But it looks like the Victoria International School will score the second point. But it's really hard for them to, <laughs> to go back on out. That's why they have the cobblestone to jump over the fence. All right, so this is the second point for the Victoria International School of Sharjah. They're on the blue side now. Um, if you guys watched the first game, the in American International School of Abu Dhabi were on the blue side. Now the red side was switched teams, so don't get confused. Now the Victoria International School of Sharjah is leading now with two points. So, so far so good for the blue team. They captured two points. They have a strong lead. And if I were, if I were them, I would probably concentrate on the defense now, really, rather than, uh, rather than um, making more points, just concentrate on the defense and, 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 you know, steadily win this game. And we just have 10 minutes left on the clock. And actually, let me make an announcement for the teams. So everybody knows how much time we have. Just scrolling through the commands right here. There's no yet way to automate that. So I have to do manually go and um, input the commands. But it looks like nothing much happening from the American International School of Abu Dhabi. They put 
what looks like a huge tower around their flag. But whether or not that this will stop the the blue team from capturing, I don't really know. Uh, the red team captures a flag. Uh, let's see what is happening there, whether or not they will be able to bring home the flag. I wonder who is carrying the flag. I don't really see the player now. It looks like student 7 um, is carrying the flag, or that's the defender. So where is the red flag? And who is carrying? Hmm. All right. Okay, we found the player who's got the flag. Uh, this is student 12, who is trying to escape from the chase. He must be in low help health. Uh, he's crouching now, so we don't really see him. He's on the second floor, right there. Whether or not he'll be spotted or not. Uh, yeah, he got spotted, but then he won the fight against the student 12. He's in low health. Um, none of the blue team members are able to see him, and now it's good time for him or her to escape. I wonder where where they are. They're in the house, they're inside the house. I don't want to reveal their position um, from the team, but they are right there. They have the flag uh, of the blue team and they've got to bring it back to score the point. So far so good, but they just maybe regenerating health. I'm not sure what their strategy is, but they're just sitting there in the house um, doing nothing. So yeah, let's see what happens there. Uh, we're still on two points in um, favor of the blue team. This is the Victoria International School of Charger, and the red team scores a point. So this player didn't have a flag at the end. Someone else had the flag because the blue flag has been returned, and now he got spotted while well, building some. Well, this is something interesting happening. This player is just sitting there uh, putting dirt uh, around him or her to try to defend against the blue player. There's some interesting play happening here. Um, this 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 player is a really good distraction from the uh, <laughs> good distraction for the for the red team. And now the blue team's flag is captured one more time. And it looks like there's a passage right back. And now <clears throat> student 12 is carrying the blue flags back to the base. Well, amazing play by the red play by by the red team. This player has been able to hide from the uh, the blue team uh, in the in this in this area here. Wait until their their team brings back the flag and then takes the flag once it's responded. So let's see if they are able to bring it back. So the blue flag is still it's missing. So someone's from the red team is carrying the flag, but whether or not they will be able to bring it back, I'm not really sure. I um, actually forgot who captured the blue team's flag and why this player didn't bring back. So just to make sure, maybe it's again it's a glitch. Uh, I'll just put the flag back to make sure that if it's a glitch, it's 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 back. So let's quickly see what is happening on the red team side. Um, now, interesting point is, yes, you can capture the flag, but how do you get out? It will take you some time. Oh, thank you. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I mispronounced your name, uh, but the person who said just watching in thrill, both teams are doing great. Thank you for your friendly comment. This is these are the times of comments we are looking for um, from the audience. Those encouraging positive comments. Thank you for setting a good example. So it's two two, and the red team captures the flag. Student nineteen is carrying the flag. He gets spotted by student four. And let's see if the flag will be returned. Student 19 demonstrates some really good movement. He's able to move back and build. He's trying to regenerate his health. Uh, he's hiding now um, in the wall. Let's see if student 4 will be able to catch up. Uh, but apparently student 19 is crouching. Look at that. He or she was able to escape so skillfully. 
Well done. Whoever is student 19, that was a wonderful play. Really good play by student 19. Making the hole in the wall, then crouching, and then escaping with the flag. Wonderful play. Well done for the student 19. This is a student from the... But then he, he got cut out by two players. Let's see if he can, he can make an escape. Bows or oh, arrows are coming down. And the flag is returned. What a play. What a play. And now student one ha has been able to bow down the uh, player carrying the flag and return the flag back. The blue team rescues the flag. Now the red team's flag is back. And the blue team's is black. But what a play. Amazing escape first and then good play by the American International School. Um, uh, well, actually, that was the um, Sharjah International School. It's not Sharjah, Victoria, Shar Victoria International School of Sharjah player who, uh, with a bow, uh, take down the player who was carrying the flag and bring the flag back, which is sometimes is underestimated. Uh, students are normally trying to capture the flag and score points for their team. But what is equally important is to take down the players who's carrying your flag. And now an interesting play is happening. We have two players, uh, two blue players who are actually uh, at their wit's end as to how they are getting around. And now one of the players is getting is getting uh, into the uh, red team. The red team rescues its flag. Student 17 is here. And actually, let me return the flag because it has to be there. And now the, <laughs> the player is built down skillfully. Uh, the red flag is, 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 the, is there, the, the, the blue team captures the flag, now they're in this cage, now student one has got to be really quick because the uh, red team players will not leave him in place, he's trying, to, he's trying to defend himself and he has taken down three players already, but he's got to be quick to think how to get out, he's carrying the flag, but he, it's, it's really hard, he cannot build, he cannot build, he's got to, he's got to break down part of the wall but it's cobblestone and he doesn't have the peacocks whether or not he will be able to get out we have one more player from the blue team accidentally hit by the student one and now both of them are trying to make the hole they're tr the students from the red team actually the hole is made and now the blue team rescues the flag and the red team is carrying the flag the red team captures the flag the red flag is returned and it looks like the defense from the red team is paid off now the flag is captured one more time and the flag is returned another player is in the pit and now the flag is captured the the opening is free let's follow this player he or she is trying to make his make out their way out and now student four is carrying the flag we just have one minute 30 seconds on the clock the score is 2-2 the charger the victoria international school of charger is trying to is trying to bring back the flag and if they manage to bring black the back the flag the red team scores a point this is three two but the blue team is carrying the flag as well they are going to score the point and it's an even game again it's three to three with only one minute remaining i'm gonna i'm gonna just make sure that all players are aware of the fact that just we have just one minute remaining and this is for the um evidence uh we just have one minute it's three three the Victoria International School of Sharjah has got to win this game to bring it to the third game. If American International School of Abu Dhabi scores the point, they're going to win the match. So let's see what's going to happen. We have 30 seconds on the clock. The red team, it looks like they've been able to fix the opening with the dirt, but this will not last long. We have a fence player, we have the offense going up from the uh, blue team we have one player we have two players on the ground the scrimmages is happening the one player from the red team is down student seven is coming it's coming from the side he's in the house and the red team captures the flag so let's quickly move to the red team side i wonder who captures the flag it looks like student 15 captures the flag there's no defense from the blue side it looks like the um the blue team solely concentrated on capturing the flag but let's follow the student 15 and the time is up the time is up, so whoever w scores the point wins the round. Oh my god, I'm so nervous, I cannot type.
All right, so guys, first point wins the game. Whew. Whoever scores this will win this round. We have 3-3, we have the red team, we have the blue team. Um, but the flag, the flag is missing. I wonder who is carrying the flag. There's so much loot here. There's so much happening here. Um, someone from the blue team must be carrying the red flag because it's missing. Let's check the blue flag. The blue flag is in place. So it looks like if the point is scored, the Victoria International School of Sharjah is going to win this round. So let's quickly check if it's going to happen. Student 4 doesn't have the flag. So who's got the red flag? I'm not really sure because the flag is missing. I was, I was really thinking that the red flag is there. Uh, just to make sure that this is not a glitch, I'm going to return the red flag. This will not stop. This will not stop the blue team from scoring the point if they have the flag, but they don't. The blue team doesn't have the flag. Was there a player under the ground just now? The student... Where is student 19? I don't see him. Is he under the ground? Where is student 19? Is there an underground tunnel? It looks like it, guys. It looks like because the the fight is happening somewhere and I'm not really sure where the student 19 is. And he is carrying the flag. The student 19 is carrying the blue team's flag. If they score the point, the red team is going to be victorious. If, if student 19 scores the point, the American International School of Abu Dhabi is going to win the round and win the game. 3, 2, 1, and it's 4, 3. And this is the victory for the red team and this is the victory for American International School of Abu Dhabi. Let me just check that uh, I'm not making a mistake. The red team is Asia. Yes, the red team wins the game and this is their second victory. So congratulations to the um, American International School um, of Abu Dhabi. Uh, let me just make a title. Um, All right, well, yes, the American International School of Abu Dhabi is victorious in this game. They won the first round seven to one. They won the second round four to three, and this is best of three series. So yeah, guys, stay tuned. We're going to do a quick interview with both teams. We're gonna stop hosting for now and join the teams to have a post game interview. So let me just quickly. So the first team that we're going to join is going to be Victoria International School. Uh, we're going to join them to see what they have to say about this game. Uh, joining them in a second. So stay. So joining them now for the post game interview. He's in. <clears throat> hey, hey guys, I'm here uh, to ask you some questions. Well, well played guys, but oh, what a second game. You guys were shot just one point to bring it to the third game. Just that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, the first round, it really didn't go well. We didn't know some of the things that were actually available around our base. So when we saw the other team, we started looking around ours, then we started to figure out some strategies, and then having a minute break, we um, came up with a few strategies, strategies. We tried our best. The enemy team was very, very good in their strategies. They um, entered guard tunnels. Um, I congratulate the other team, uh, and my, I think my team did a pretty good job signing up to get up to them. And that's yeah. All I have to say. 
All right, thank you, Abdul. Thank you for your comment, guys. You played really well, especially defense. Your defense for the second game was extraordinary. It, it, it shows that you guys learned the, some of the mistakes from the first game and did an amazing job. Well, thank you, guys. Um, Hillary, any, any last comment from you before I move on to, the, uh, to have a chat with the uh, Asia team? Um, I just wanted to say that I'm really proud of my team and we are going to take this and go back and practice a little bit more and we look forward to the opportunity to you know keep on um participating so um well done to the team and congratulations to um abu dhabi american international school of abu dhabi they played a really strong game so, well done. <laughs> all right guys well hopefully we had fun um hopefully yeah guys we will practice a little bit more we will have some uh, another tournaments uh, coming up in fall so yeah we'll reconnect definitely in the future we, we will have um final games uh, we, ha we will have semi-final game and then we'll have a final game and yeah so feel free to join the live stream now you know what is what it feels like to be on the field and you will be able to 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 see what the finalists will be able to bring to the table, what kind of strategy they will employ to outwit their opponents. Thank you guys for your time and have a wonderful evening. You too. All right, that was the interview, a quick chat with the, uh, the Victoria International School of Charger. I'm now joining the um, victors of our match, uh, American International School of Abu Dhabi, to have a quick chat with them about what it was like uh, to know that you can lose the second game and risk losing the entire match. So let's see. Uh, let's see uh, what they will have to say. All right, I'm joining them now in a second. Um, <clears throat> well, hello again, guys. Hello. Hello. Well, before I say anything, congratulations on the victory, guys. That was a wonderful game to commentate. What a second match. Were you guys nervous that you could lose? They were, <laughs> yeah. um, they were at the beginning, they were ahead by two points. Yeah. Yeah, so we were like, we were like nah, nah, this is fine. We'll just play. Yeah, it's going to be comfortable. Yeah, it's going to be comfortable. Because we, we, we kind of like lost, we lost like something on the cooperative thing. So we had to like plan back so we could get the uh, yeah. footing back again. Yes, and guys, so what was going on in, in at the beginning of the second game? I did not recognize you guys. You were so uh, aggressive and so organized at the beginning and throughout the first game, but then something happened and you guys just start losing points. Can someone maybe talk about it? What happened? The communication didn't... Yeah, I could. Uh, I could. Yeah, I could. Uh, I don't know. I yeah, actually so know the thing why. Is that we, we built the tunnel late. Yeah, I was the builder of the tunnel. So yeah. I, I I was dealing with some mobs at the bottom of the map. I was still so then I was, was I was a bit delayed with going the tunnel, but still confident. Then easily went around. Went, uh, so guys, let, yeah. so once we are on this topic, did I did I notice correctly that there was an underground tunnel? Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. there was. There was. Yeah. Oh my! The, the opposing team actually used our tunnel. So let me just quickly jump back into the game. I'm still in the game. I just want to show the viewers. So guys, you were on the red team. How do I get into the tunnel? Oh, and uh, uh, should we tell that? <laughs> <laughs> or is it your strategy? Or is it your strategy that you don't want to reveal to future yeah, games? Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. We will we'll tell there's a tunnel. We will tell there's a tunnel, but we won't tell where we where we enter the deep one. <laughs> <laughs> well, fair enough, fair enough, because you guys, you guys will be facing off a game from, uh, not a game, a team from Hong Kong uh, in the semifinals. So you don't want to reveal the strategy too early. But if you guys end, end up winning the, the tournament, I will definitely <laughs> would like to look at this tunnel. Because when I was commentating, yeah. I did notice some, I, I noticed nicknames, but they were going under the ground which made me think, well, where are the players? If I don't see them, they must be under the ground. So yeah, well done. And maybe you will have time to tweak your strategy or maybe um, make sure that you don't lose points at the beginning. Um, just guys, another question. Uh, what was the most, the, the hardest part in your opinion when you guys were playing against another team? It's probably the first time when you play versus another school, not just between yourself. What was the hardest yeah. part? And, um, uh, and it, the, it, sub, the substitute was like really hard. Yeah. yeah, and and how the know. opposing team was, uh, they were sounding us. That was yeah, very. They're good. They're good at PVP. That they're good at like, killing us and stuff. 
but we had a, a strategy like that, like plan A and then plan yeah. B and then we had a plan C like like right at the end. The strategies count. Yeah. And also just guys one more question. I noticed that there was an interesting moment where one or two players got stuck in this sort of like a tower in the in the in the blue base. They built a really tall tower and then you were like, Oh what do I do? Who was that player who got stuck there? It's pro me. it's probably too specific question that but it was just interesting to yeah. watch. You mean the flag? Yeah, yeah, they rounded. They built a tower, a really tall tower around the flag, and it was oh, really hard to get yeah, out. Was, my, was, my job, yeah, my job was, was to make like a huge like wall around the flag, and I, I just I was supposed to stay inside the hole, and then uh, Arthur would like give me I would give me food so I would survive, and I would just protect the whole flag. Oh, that was your defense strategy. Yeah, basically we would make like a huge like pillow, full of bedrock and um the wood, and then we would put uh, put, we put Muhammad in there. And then, and then we would like feed him like after. Like, <laughs> well, what yeah. a strategy! <laughs> Good. All right, guys, I'll just pass uh, pass it on to uh, your uh, head coach, Mr. Ella. Do you have any last comments before we finish the today's event? Ah, very proud. It was great to watch. I mean, uh, thank you, Evgeny, for organizing this. This uh, it was. Oh. I'm not a gamer. I'm an organizer. But um, yeah, it was great. It's great to see. Uh, you know these guys have an opportunity especially during these times during these covid times so so thank you all right no no well this i had fun watching you guys play and listen you guys need to train up and maybe revise the strategy for the semi-final game with hong kong which will happen within a week or two then hopefully you will be able to participate in the finals against the frankfurt international school um which is a really strong school and strong team well Good job for you guys. Congratulations and have a good, wonderful evening. Bye bye. Uh, I actually have a question. Yes, yes, go ahead. Yes, sure. Um, is there a recording of where the other teams fought? Yes, uh, yes. Uh, I'll um, if you go. Actually, I'll send I'll send your head coach, Mr. Elliot, a, a live stream from the game, and then you will be able to see their play. Okay. Thank you. No problem. All right. All right, guys, good game, and have a wonderful evening. Thank you, you too. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Well, guys, that's it. Uh, that's the game for today. Uh, this is the semifinals or quarterfinals for the um, <clears throat> International Minecraft Esports League. Good game. Con congratulations for American International School of Charger. Well played. Victoria International School of Charger. Thank you guys for your audience, for your comments. Thank you for keeping it positive. Um, thank you for all the viewers. Um, do um, stay uh, or do follow our schedule. We will do another game soon where American International School of Charger will be facing off against uh, Ameri not American, it's International School of Hong Kong. This game will be uh, live stream as well, and then there will be a time for the finals. Looking forward to this game. Thank you guys, and have a wonderful evening. We're going to end the stream now uh, before it's getting a little bit late and on my end, and I think we've spent enough of time uh, in front of the screen. So let's take, some, let's take a walk, let's do some stretching, and stay healthy. Thank you guys, and see you next time.